Praise be Jesus Christ. The most common image of the Blessed Virgin Mary in the world is the nativity scene, the mother with child. And those who have eyes to see recognize that this child is the savior of the world. The world's most visited Marian shrine is the shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe in Mexico. The Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to Saint Juan Diego and left her image on his tilma. When the native people saw this image of our Blessed Mother, they recognized right away this woman is a great queen and she is with child and she's one of us and she's greater than our sun god. She's greater than our moon god and yet she comes to us not as a god but as one whose head is bowed down in worship. She is worshiping a God who is greater than all the Aztec gods. And so the native people asked, who is this woman? Who is this queen? And what child is this in her womb? And the missionaries were able to proclaim that the child in her womb is the Lord Jesus Christ, the savior of the world, who came not demanding human sacrifice, not demanding blood sacrifice, but who came to shed his blood for us, to offer his life in sacrifice for us. And that woman is his mother. And the God she worships is the one true God, the most holy trinity. And so as Catholics, we love the Blessed Virgin Mary. We have a great devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. And that's why it's such a great tragedy that so many Catholics vote for politicians who are willing and ready to leave the door wide open, and some of them even open the door more widely, to the killing of the most little, the most innocent, the most vulnerable in our society. Some of these politicians even call themselves Catholic, and there's no question as to where they stand on this issue. I call Catholics who vote for this kind of politician stupid Catholics. And I don't apologize, I don't use this word often, but I do reserve it for this awful tragedy. St. Paul says in Galatians chapter 3, oh stupid Galatians, who has bewitched you? Brothers and sisters, we need to understand that if we vote for a politician who is going to keep the door wide open and even widen the door to the killing of our most innocent. We're complicit in this awful slaughter. And we have blood on our hands. And one day we will have to give an account for the fact that this awful scourge in our society, this awful injustice to the most weak, the most vulnerable, we were part of that. As Catholics, we are supposed to be defenders of life. We understand the child in her womb is a real human being. In this case, the savior of the world, the child in Elizabeth's womb is John the Baptist. He has a mission. We know Jeremiah's words. The Lord says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I consecrated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. Listen, if other people don't want to be clear about the awful sin, the mortal sin of voting for a politician who is going to continue to see this slaughter happen, good for them. But this priest and pastor and disciple of the Lord Jesus will be clear in the spirit of St. Paul and our Lord Jesus Christ and John the Baptist who had a beautiful biblical tone. You see, when St. Paul calls the Galatians stupid, it's because he loves them. He's a father to them and he wants to see his children spend eternity in heaven. He doesn't want to see his children lose the great gift that Jesus won by shedding his blood. So I urge you, my dear Catholics, don't be stupid. You need to stand for what is true. Catholics must rise up. Stop compromising. Stand for the truth. Defend life because life is short and eternity is long. And one day we will have to give an account for these decisions we have made. Viva Cristore.